G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, we've had pretty cold, miserable weather in Adelaide lately, so I'm going to go down to uh, have a bit of a browse around in a uh, in a junk shop. Uh, well, you know, collectibles shop as they call them, and uh, uh, I'll show you the sort of places you can pick up odds and sods at times. Floor up the old girl. I got the preheater going on it. See what she goes like. Ah, feel the power, what a machine. So yeah, we'll go down to this little old shop not far from me and we'll have a poke around and you can come for the ride and uh, yeah, you won't see any lathes but you'll see some tools and stuff so you might find it interesting. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll head off. Oh well, here we are at Castle Collectibles on the South Road and uh, they've got all sorts of stuff in here and uh, out the front is an old Tommy car of some sort and uh, a convertible that looks like it's never sort of been restored somebody started and I think it's an old Hillman right well we'll go inside and see what the guys have got so there you go the sign on the wall says it all tools and more that's what we're interested in these places have everything and uh, as you can see a lot of it's furniture and stuff we're not really interested in but it's uh, it's the other gear that makes it uh, that makes it interesting oh you never know with these places what's going to be here. As you can see, a lot of the stuff's furniture and uh, stuff we're not really interested in, but you never know. We'll poke around and come through. Let's see, oh, it's a squeeze in these places. You've always got a. Hello, what have we got here? Ah, toolboxes. There we go. Winter. Yeah, some used toolboxes there. Be right to put your collets in, I suppose. I mean, what do they want? Five bucks, ten bucks, sit chrome. Oh, no, she's not worth ten bucks. What else they got here? Stuff. Well, often you get old army ammo boxes in these places. Well, there's an old wooden one there. But the metal ones are what you're after. Oh, well, there's a metal one. Here we go. So these are good. We use it up the farm a lot. They're good for putting heavy tools in. You can generally pick them up for about 10 bucks. And uh, yeah, they're handy little items. Right, well we're heading into the main area now and you can see there's tools and stuff over there. And on the right here we've got potential. What have we got? Spanners. Lots of them too. You know, you never know what you're going to see in these places. I mean prices can be good or not so good it just depends and uh, they call them collectibles and they are people collect this stuff but they're also a cheap way to buy stuff at times it just depends on what it is and uh, how scarce it is or how interesting it is these are those old style spanners they used to use on push bikes and motorbikes years ago your boat. And here we've got some big mothers down here. Some really big ones. As you can see they've got lots and lots of this stuff. A lot of this stuff's pretty useless for the average guy but you know it's interesting just poking around these places and uh, sort of stuff you'd use on a train. You know? <laughs> Not the sort of stuff I'd be interested in.
I mean, I've got some of this, I've got that many spanners and wrenches that I'd be looking to sell them, not buy more. But, Britain, USA, Aussie brand. So this is it. Hmm. Over here we've got saws, wrenches. Yeah, nice looking coping saws there. Hacksaws. I mean, you're going to get all the old style hacksaws, the old British and American ones, and uh, that's what I use. They're good, good and solid. Plenty of them. What else we got here? Yeah, this is interesting. Little shifter. Interesting pipe wrenches with a with, with a bronze body. See that? Yeah, they look nice. Here's another one. Yeah. That sort of thing you see that often. Here we go, planes. A lot of timber stuff here. All the old planes. Yeah. Devices. So as you can see, these places have got a lot of potential, you know, and uh, all polished up, you know, old spray guns and the old blow torches. How about a fire? Or an old Here's an old drill press. A very old drill press. Beware of snakes. <laughs> I don't think there'll be any snakes in here, but where it came from, there'd be a few of the little black devils running around. Oh, man, a couple of old saws. Oh, big old cross-cut saws. And here's another old-style drill press. I mean, really, who would want it? I mean, it's okay to collect this stuff, I suppose. Hello, I see more down the back. I'll we'll head down this way. Yeah, fasteners. Yeah, there's an old shearing handpiece. Yeah, seen a few of these around in my time. This is the old, um, the old narrow comb sort. It's all wide comb now, but. Pretty useless. Oh, drills. Oh, no. Modern drill, Hitachi. Yeah, they've got a whole lot of bracing bits here. The old style, I've got one of those at home. Once again, people collect all sorts of stuff. I had a guy get onto me, um, he spotted a ratchet half inch ratchet drive I had and he was interested in getting it off me but I didn't want to sell it because it's it was an American one they just never sold them in Australia and it came off of a a Mac M1A1 army truck that my old man was <laughs> on in the army and when he left the army he took some of the army with him um, yeah I know a lot of that went on during the war but those days they had nothing to, uh, no tools themselves, so people were used to scab stuff. Yeah, interesting. The old slider screwdrivers. And the old hand drills where you've broken more drills than drilled holes. 
Oh, they were diabol diabolical things. There's one there. We've got one bigger one than that at home, the same. And bloody awful things. Yeah. Oh, a little one here. Hmm, interesting. What else we got? Oh, a whole bunch of saws up here. That's a game. Whatever rocks your boat, I suppose. I've got plenty of saws. I uh, wouldn't use something quite that old, I don't think. What have we got here? Yeah, the old oil cans, the old, there's the old riggers. Yeah, what do they want for these? Whoops, what do they want? Hmm, no, a bit too beat up for that money, I think. These can go for, for 30 bucks, a good one. I've got five of these. <laughs> I got this thing about Riga oil cans, and they're a good oil can, but um, yeah, I'd pay 30 odd bucks for a good one. And of course, you've got endless gear. Here's the, here's the old nail pullers from the old days. I've got one of those at home as well. And they, slide out and pull the nails out the flooring and packing cases. That'd be 1920s or something like that. There's a saw set, setting the teeth on, on saws like we just looked at a minute ago. Here's where it gets interesting, you know, if you're after punches, chisels, uh, high grade steel, you know, you can pick up really good stuff at good prices. Endless cold chisels. I mean, it'd be nice if they had some drills. I don't know, we're coming up with drills and we might see some Morse taper drills here even. What have they got? You know, you get some big stuff. I mean, you know, to buy a big masonry drill like that, you'd be paying more than $15 for it, new. Down here, you know, what are they? Step drills are always good. Eight bucks. That's not bad. You buy one, you'd be up for 25 bucks. What's this one? This one looks good. Nine. Hmm, not bad. I generally. Hmm, there's a big one. Let me see that one. Hmm, I might grab that on my way back. I'll go through them a bit. I always buy these if I see them and they're, uh, yeah, they're handy, bloody handy. Oh, that's a masonry bit. Is it? Hang on, I've got my glasses on. Yeah, masonry bit. No, don't want that. But once again, if you were to buy a new masonry drip, bit like that, it'd cost you a packet. Hmm, interesting. A nice one. Mm, Twelve bucks. Yeah, all good if you want it, and cheaper than you'd buy it new, obviously. But, uh, they haven't got any more taper jobs here, which I was sort of looking for. That's why I like these sort of places, you know. These and flea markets, you can pick up some incredible buys at times if it's just the item you're after. Hmm. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, some sort of an old, old blowtorch. I haven't seen one like that before. Interesting. Yeah, then we've got screwdrivers, lots of screwdrivers. Yeah, a few G clamps and screw clamps and hello. Hmm, it's quite good. I've got a couple of small ones of these, you know. Not something you'd use that often, but they can be handy if you want to Pull stuff up parallel. 
Yeah, pretty good. Well, I think we've just about covered the tools. We'll wander through the shop and on the way out and just see what else they've got. I'll go into this area. Oh, hello, what have we got here? Garden stuff. Oh, yeah. You want a shovel or a rake or maybe a hay fork? There's one down there, I can see. Well, we're getting towards the end of it now. Well, we're heading back to the old ute. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Time to go home. And, uh, yeah. See you next time. Cheers.